Armin Arlert here. I'm going to teach you all the wonderful secrets of the 3D MG harness. I know the first time I saw mine, I freaked out. But not to worry, I'm going to walk you through it step by step, just like in my training days. First, we're going to start with the back piece. There are two sides. The shinier side does not go on your back. Now, mine was made wrong, so I had to re-thread the belts so the little X was inside. The part with a large number of belts goes in front. Place the gray part on your back so the little X is facing your back. Adjust the gray part so it covers part of your shoulders. Now take the chest belts on either side and buckle them nice and tight. Reach around your back and grab the left belt that hangs off the gray part and bring it under your arm. This will buckle into the smallest belt on the left side. It should be sticking up if the belts are lying flat. Repeat for the other side as well. Next, you will grab the waist belt. This is the one with no other belts attached. I do not recommend looping this through your belt loops. I have a long torso and it will make me hunch over. This part is kind of confusing, so it is shown twice. You will take the belts that are hanging down and make them lie flat. The one that hangs closer to your stomach is the one you will use. This has an actual belt clasp. Take the waist belt and feed the end through the buckle. Make sure the little metal clasp is down. You will then go over the metal clasp and through the other side. It should look something like this. Now you will take this funny little piece and feed the belt through it. Make sure the seams are facing in. This makes it much cleaner and Levi Hatcher will yell at you for untidiness. Situate it in the middle of your back and bring the rest of the belt around. Do the same thing with the other side, feeding the belt through the buckle, over the clasp, and through the buckle again. Then fasten the waist belt. Now to move on to the legs. If you have bad balance, I would suggest having a chair handy to put your foot on. Take one leg belt and look at the section with the extra piece coming off of it. You want this to go in front and to face outward. Lie the belt flat against your thigh to make sure it does this. Hold the two long pieces on top and step through, keeping the elastic part in front of your calf. Again, make sure the belt with the extra piece is in front. Take the elastic piece and cross it like so. You will place this under the arch of your foot. Adjust accordingly and make sure it lies flat. This is where a chair comes in handy. Take the thigh straps, they should look like this. You will want to keep your knee bent so the calf straps do not fall off. Place the thigh straps on your upper thigh, with the square on the outside and the buckle spacing in. Wrap the long pieces around your thigh and secure them. I would suggest making them at least one notch looser than you need, because we will tighten them once we are done with them. Take the long piece in front of your knee, the one with the extra piece, and thread it under the thigh belts 
on the square so they sit between the belts and the leather square. I do not suggest removing the extra piece, but rather working it through as well. Do the same with the long piece from behind, threading it under the thigh belts. You will then tighten the thigh belts so that they do not slip and adjust them to where you want them. Do all of this again, the calf, the foot, the thigh straps, for the other leg. Take one of the leather rectangles with the clasps. Make sure you use the side that has its slit further down. It has more room between the clasp and the slit. You want the shiny part facing in and the softer part facing out as you loop it under your waist belt. Repeat this with the other one. Now take out the gray piece. You want the longer, brown part to be facing up, but against your back when you put it on. Take the long belt strap that is hanging down from under your arm and bring it around your back. Loop the left belt through the left side of the gray piece. Again, make sure the long brown part is facing up. The gray piece will eventually sit on your lower back. Do this for the other side. Take hold of the two belts after you threaded them through and cross them. Hold on to the left belt and grab hold of the leg belt that came from behind your right leg. This belt does not have an extra piece on it. Cross the leg belt over your legs and hips to meet the left hand. The belt in your left hand has a buckle on it. Fasten the two together and make sure they are tight. Repeat this for the other side. You can now adjust the gray piece so that it sits in the middle of your lower back. Take the belt from the front of your knee, this is the one with the extra piece, and bring it behind you. 
Let the extra piece sit lower as you bring the belt across. Feed the belt through and under the bottom left slit on the back piece connected to the waist belt. Then feed it through the right slit diagonal from it. The belt should be sitting on top of the brown piece in between the two slits. Take the belt around your hips and fasten it to the buckle from the piece connecting the back and the front strap you connected earlier. Repeat this for the other side. Finally, to get rid of the annoying extra piece we left. The last belt that is hanging under your arm is going to connect to it using the buckle. Make sure that you do not make this so tight that you cannot stand up. Do this for both sides. Take the rectangle and fold the bottom piece under the top and clasp them together. Now you can tuck away all the annoying little extra pieces inside of it. Congratulations! You have now successfully put on this overcomplicated belt system. You probably did it faster than me and only got eaten by seven titans in the span of this video as you struggled to put on your gear. Don't worry though, I'm sure you will get faster at it. I hope this helped. I'm out.